Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick look at the SanDisk Extreme 512 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, for many of you out there, this may not be a big deal, but for me, it is. And I've actually also got the one terabyte on the way. This was part of my personal haul over uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, was that I always have SD cards on my list, you know, and other networking items, Hue lights, smart home products, all that type of stuff. But SD cards, storage, I've also got uh, some NVMe drives coming, even though I just uh, unboxed recently the Sabrent one terabyte Nano, which I love that thing. I do have a SanDisk NVMe external drive coming as well, so which many of you may have seen on sale. But uh, this was, I think, roughly around 80 US dollars. I think now it's back up to about $140. And the reason I'm sharing it with all of you is that I bought it for a reason. It makes sense. Now, if you're a photographer and you need higher speed cards than this, of course, you should get them. What I love about these cards, though, is that they are incredibly versatile. Um, you know, they're rated at 160 on the read, 90 on the write, and you can use them for pretty much anything. You can see right at the top, uh, SanDisk always branding Android, excuse the scissor, 4K UHD. They're showing you a drone. They're showing you action cams because basically that's what this card is perfect for. But if you do want to use it, for something like a full frame digital camera, a uh, mirrorless camera, uh, your, your DSLR of choice, there's absolutely no reason not to. So that's why I'm sharing it. And also a lot of you that have been following uh, my coverage of laptops as of late, this is also a great option. If you have a laptop that has a micro SD card slot, this is fantastic. I mean, so many uh, people will dismiss having a micro SD card uh, reader on board on laptops. They think it's an irrelevant or worthless feature. I don't know what world they're living in because this is exactly what it's all about. I mean, the one terabyte that I have coming is an even bigger deal than this. They sealed this, didn't they? But there's nothing to sneeze at here with a 512 gig micro SD card. And with the read and write capability that this card sports, I mean, I can't believe, granted it's upside down, I can't believe, let's do that again, that I am holding a half a terabyte in the palm of my hand. I mentioned things getting smaller and smaller. And yes, these debuted a while back, the one terabyte as well. Uh, and they're still very expensive and the price will inherently come down. Let's get an extreme close up going. But it is very exciting to have this sort of capability, again, in my hand. Right now, the largest uh, SD card that I work with on a regular basis that I'm shooting this on right now is a half terabyte card. So to now have a card that is of similar speed and the exact same storage size that is versatile enough to live in, well, whether it's a full frame camera like the A9 Mark II, granted that wouldn't leverage the full speed of it. So let's say something more like uh, the RX100 Mark 7, for example, where that is plenty of speed. After all, this doesn't support uh, the high-speed cards that full-frame cameras like the A7R4 and the A9 Mark II support. Perfect for something like this. Uh, perfect for something like the Osmo Pocket or the Osmo Action. Perfect for my DJI uh, Pro 2, the Mavic 2 Pro, excuse me, if you have a drone that you want to use, perfect for any laptop, like I've been stating. I mean, if you want to use, you want to throw this into something like, you know, the HP Spectre, you have that capability right there that you have a micro SD card slot that you can, if I can bring it into focus, easily bump up your storage uh, if that's all you're looking to do. But if you're not looking to bump up your storage, which of course a card like this is fast enough to serve that function, you can also easily just use it as intended, which is again, a very versatile micro SD card that easily, of course, with an adapter becomes a full size card. And this thing can live in virtually every product that I own and review. And again, film here on the channel with in studio and outside. And that's what I love about it. It's versatility. So yes, it's not the fastest card on the market. No, it's the smallest. Uh, and the fact that it's micro really does, again, lend itself 
It can be, how did I forget? What about my smartphone right here? I want to throw it into my Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. I can do that. So it's really about compatibility, flexibility, and that this thing can live anywhere. So whether it's full frame cameras, uh, point and shoot cameras, laptops, unfortunately the days of full size SD cards being able to live everywhere, well they could never live in phones obviously, is over. Um, very few laptops these days have full-size readers unless they are desktop replacements. And I'm not a fan of desktop replacements. I'm a fan of desktops. So with that said, this is going to serve so many different cap or functions for me personally. Again, a great backup card for full frame shooting, even though it doesn't have that speed. I'll keep repeating it. Uh, if you need it, you know what you have to buy. You got to go to the latest and greatest cards, in my opinion, the tough cards from Sony uh, that are actually UHS-2. But for universal utility, very tough to beat these cards. And the one terabyte that I have coming, I'm really excited about because, again, if I want to use this really as a storage substitution and not just as an SD card on something like my HP Spectre uh, that I finally got a decent one, that even though I have a two terabyte NVMe drive in there, this is going to be a great compliment or it's one terabyte brother that at some point Best Buy will deliver. So I'll include a link in the description. It's not at the sale price anymore, but give it some time. I guarantee you, you will see these things drop. They always do like rocks. It's a matter of time and they're not brand new anymore. And that's why they were put on sale. And a lot of you may be thinking they're still too expensive. Yes, you have a Samsung alternative, uh, but I stick with SanDisk on this. I've had some bad experiences with Sammy. Uh, micro SD cards just not performing. And by the way, that's not a knock. They make fantastic SD cards as well. I've just had one bad experience. I've never had a bad experience uh, with SanDisk in this realm. So uh, I'm partial to it. And also they are the only distinguished one terabyte micro out there. So even though this is the half, uh, and by the way, the half terabyte is the better value. If that wasn't obvious already, I think the one terabyte is now back up to like for over 400 US, which is bonkers. I mean, it was bonkers at 200 that I paid for it but it's a convenience that I know I'm going to utilize and is worth it to me. Of course, if it's not, you better believe it'll go back. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.